When you play 142 games over the course of five months, you need a little break from the daily grind once in a while. And probably nobody knew how to lighten the mood better than Larry Anderson, a player coach for the 1995 Reading Phillies who pulled off one of the all-time great clubhouse pranks. It was a practical joke on Wayne Gomes that he was being traded to Japan for a, a, a Japanese player. Hey, 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 hey. We had the perfect people to pull this off. And we had Larry Anderson as our pitching coach. We had Bill Dancy as our manager. Uh, they were in on it. And Mark Wallace, our PR director, was obviously a big part of it. And not, the players did not know anything that it was a practical joke. Wayne and I were good friends. I still talk to Wayne. Uh, and Wayne and I sat in the bullpen a lot together. And we spoke. And, uh, and we did. He was one of the guys that I would sit and talk to all the time. And Wayne and I kind of hit it all. Um, but when they played the joke, they didn't let the players in because they know that we'd give it away. I thought it was a joke. I thought Anderson was playing a joke on him. He rigged on us. Like, but, you know, if it's not, then, you know, I think it'd be a pretty, pretty bad joke to, to play on him like that. But if it's serious, then, you know. They had brought in a, a uh, Japanese uh, actor to, to, be, uh, to act as a reporter for uh, ESPN. And it was this elaborate practical joke, and they had them film a meeting with Bill Dancy and ha having them break the news to him. I told Larry Anderson at the time, uh, Larry was here uh, when, when that took place. Um, I said, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't see him doing that. And so I went to Wayne and I said, you know, I, uh, I, I can't see him trading you. It almost feels like a joke. And he goes, man, I wish it was a joke, but I don't think it's not. There's too many people involved. So there was discussion of this being a joke. And then there was too many outside sources. And then they brought in the, the guy who was Japanese to an interview. And I went, nah, they're not going this far for, for a joke. But uh, Wayne was visibly upset. I just go with the flow. Huh? Do I eat sushi? Yeah. No, I don't eat no sushi, man. <laughs> no, I don't eat sushi, no. I remember him saying, I don't like no sushi, man. <laughs> and, he, and he just, he called his mother. And, there, and there, we, we have footage of him talking to his mother, saying he's got, he got traded to some city in Japan, he, and he butchered the name of the city he was being traded to. It was so well done. Uh, it was one of the best, you know, practical jokes I've ever seen. This went on for, you know, quite a while, but probably about a half hour to an hour in the clubhouse with a, a fake reporter. And, and, and finally, as he was packing his, packing his, his uh, belongings up, out of his locker to go to Japan, uh, Larry Anderson said, you know, you've been messing with me all year, and uh, I got you back. I got you back, man. And that's when he, that's when he knew it. I mean, we, we, I felt like we had to get pretty close. And was messing with me a lot, and I told him I would get him back. <laughs> and you just got had. <laughs> 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 Wayne Gomes trade to Japan, another of Reading's many golden moments.